Hey, hey. Today I'm gonna mill a really large uh, spruce tree. I'm gonna make uh, 6 inch and 8 inch boards. I will do this by um, splitting the log into a big um, 8 inch and a 6 inch uh, piece and then just slice the boards. I start with making a 2 inch board on the top. It's a really wide board. It's about a 24 inch wide board. There is some boards on the trailer uh, that I cut yesterday and they had to be moved. They are quite small but they are of oak so they are heavy. Now it's uh, time to flip over the log. It is quite heavy and it's uh, more or less covering the whole sawmill. Luckily we are two people today uh, to turn it over. After turning over the log I set the, the thickness and as I said it's going to be one six inch and one eight inch uh, board here that we are going to slice afterwards. And as usual please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button it really makes me happy. Thank you. We had to put a little bit of work into it, but uh, finally it uh, flips over. We lock down um, the log with the clamps. Uh, it's not really necessary in a log this size, but it's so high also, so it's better safe than sorry. First I will cut off a couple of boards on the top to get rid of some of the live edge to be able to get out more wood without having a problem with the live edge. After the first cut uh, I cut uh, another board of two inches and time to turn it again. Uh, now it is easier because now we have uh, two uh, flat surfaces. And then we are flipping the log again. It's uh, the reason why I use my um, bar on the other side is that uh, the log is so high that it tends to roll off the bed even though we have the uh, log support up. The same as before, we cut a few uh, um, boards on the top here just to even out uh, the log. But now I also have to measure it so I get the right height. The saw blade um, eats 2 mm of the log. So when we are calculating the thickness of the cut, we also have to take care of the, um, these 2 millimeters. When I do the boards, it takes care of it automatically. We cut a couple of boards on top here. And uh, that is to reach uh, the 6 plus 8 inches plus the 2 mil for the saw blade. After cutting the boards at the top here, um, it, we cut the 6 inch and 8 inch board. As you can see the 8 inches in the bottom and the 6 inches on the top. 
after cutting this it's just to flip both boards over and then start uh, milling before flipping the log we have to push it out so far that uh, when we do flip um, the top board don't fall off the sawmill we start with the top log and just flip it down in the um, room that we have made in between the large piece and the log support and there it goes yes like it should and now we have to raise the big slab here it's quite heavy and it's square so we don't want to slide but there it is now though it's important to use the clamps so we hold the um, two pieces together as we are start milling the boards there we have properly clamped it down now we just need to calculate each board is going to be one inch thick so uh, it has to be calculated for the right start position so now we start producing the boards each cut it uh, makes one uh, one by six and one one by eight and finally this sawmill is uh, efficient now it is really making a lot of boards and of course a lot of sawdust so had to switch uh, bag there but uh, when we are two people like this it just keeps on going so totally we got about uh, 250 board feet half of it 8 inch and half of it 6 inch and here we are getting to the end and uh, of course I run out of uh, battery but after switching battery we can see that uh, all boards are cut and uh, we are finished for today and as I said before, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.